So now it's time for the next slot here at the MariaDB server cloud manifest. And with me here, I have Sudhakar Sanakayala from Microsoft. You're on the board of MariaDB Foundation, right? Yes. And we very much appreciate that. So what's your position at Microsoft? Um, I'm the head of engineering for open source uh, data services in uh, Azure, uh, which is the Microsoft Cloud. Okay, so that, that, that is a very clear description of your res responsibility. And it sort of also explains how MariaDB comes in. Or would you like to elaborate on the role of, of MariaDB for your responsibilities? Yeah, um, uh, Kai, uh, my team is responsible for um, enabling um, platform as a service for all open source databases. Uh, so we support uh, MariaDB and also other open source databases as well. Uh, so MariaDB is one of our marquee service, um, you know, and, um, you know, a lot of customers and developer, developers building interesting applications on top of MariaDB. And uh, they're asking for more uh, capability in the database and also in the service itself. Um, so we are very excited about the growth we are seeing. We are very excited about the interesting applications that customers are building on top of MariaDB on top of the Microsoft Cloud. And it's music to my ears because uh, one of the key aspects of, of uh, what the MariaDB Foundation is about is about adoption and adoption on the cloud is great, great adoption. So um, you mentioned other open source uh, databases. So how does your usage of MariaDB compare to Postgres and uh, MySQL. Yeah, uh, uh, Postgres and MySQL and MariaDB, you know, the, the growth of all these databases has been uh, pretty phenomenal. Uh, one of the things that we see is there's some interesting application patterns that are emerging in each of these databases. But uh, we are a relatively new service. Uh, we've been um, uh, generally available for developers for about three years now. And all, all open source databases um, are growing at a very, you know, uh, fast pace. And uh, that shows to tell you that, you know, how developers are, you know, betting on open source databases and also kind of moving to the cloud as well. Uh, so our hypothesis around open source and also the cloud, uh, like cloud native application development um, has been proven to be right. Cool, that's good to hear. So, so what kind of feedback do you get from your users? Yeah, it's a good question, Kai. Uh, we, we get a, a kind of a, a plethora of feedback, but if I were to um, kind of summarize in terms of, you know, the feedback that we get from MariaDB is um, one is around, um, you know, database features that developers would like to see, especially around things like, you know, quar parallel query plan, you know, mm -hmm. predicate pushdown. You know, those are some of the common things that I hear. Uh, the other uh, next set of, um, you know, capabilities that I, I, I hear from developers that they want in MariaDB is around some of the security features, enterprise security features like dynamic data masking and features like that. And finally, it's more on the cloud piece, especially on the Azure side of things. Uh, uh, customers are increasingly asking us to provide um, Azure Active uh, Directory authentication plugin. They're also asked for data encryption plugin using Azure uh, Key Vault, which is our kind of a, a key store uh, to hold certificates and other secrets. So those are the kind of the feedback uh, that I hear mm -hmm. uh, from, from customers on things that they'd like to see in, in MariaDB. So, so uh, how do you set up MariaDB for, for the end users like versions and upgrades and all of that? Yeah, so as part of the Azure, um, you know, platform and platform as a service for MariaDB, uh, one of the things that we offer for customers is obviously easy provisioning of um, MariaDB databases, being able to migrate their data. And also we provide, uh, you know, automatic, you know, platform upgrades and, um, you know, version upgrades, right? In fact, one of the things that uh, customers do like about MariaDB is around uh, the longer life cycle for major releases, right? Because mm -hmm. customers don't want to upgrade, right? And we see this with other databases, right? Um, they want to upgrade to major versions only when they are comfortable and they feel good about the set of features that are coming for these major upgrades. So, um, so yeah, I think we, we provide um, upgrades for you know minor and major versions uh, in the platform. And um, one of the things that we are also, uh, you know, that customers ask for is 
being able to configure when and how they can apply some of these uh, patch i mean some of these upgrades whether it's the database upgrade or the operating system upgrades as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so one of the characteristics of mariadb server if you compare it to other open source databases is the storage engines uh, so they, they do exist in, in minor scale, but I believe they are now concentrating on InnoDB mostly, if not only, whereas there are several ones in, in MariaDB actively. So uh, how does that work for you? Do you have uh, several storage engines? And, and if so, what's their breakdown? Yeah. So um, for us, um, you know, majority of the customers, I don't know, maybe because of, you know, how their current applications are developed. We have majority of the customers running primarily on InnoDB, right? Uh, we do get requests from customers to support, you know, MyRox. Uh, column Store is gaining in popularity as well. Um, you know, uh, that's because, you know, interestingly, right, customers increasingly want to run both the OLTP and OLAP style workloads on the database. So that's one of the reasons why Column Store is gaining popularity where Customers uh, don't want to be in the business of building data pipelines and ETL the data, um, you know, from from a traditional you know relational database to like a data warehouse style um, application. Um, so that's why it's it's gaining in popularity as well. And we do get a few requests for uh, Aria as well. Um, so, but predominantly, I would say align a huge share of uh, customers, um, you know, storage engineers, uh, you know, DB. Cool. Good to know. And also column, column store that you highlighted, column store. So, so, so those are sort of options when using MariaDB server, the storage engine. But there's other options as well as, uh, as in plugins. So, and you mentioned uh, security there. So there are security plugins and authentication plugins and whatnot. So do you, do you offer any plugins as well? Yeah, we do offer, um, you know, um, uh, auth, uh, auth um, Auth Z, um, you know, plugins, right? Audit, audit plugins, essentially, right. as part of um, as part of the you know our service. But you're right, though. I think the most popular um, you know uh, plugin requests that we get are mostly around authentication and security related stuff, and also on um, on uh, you know um, authorization and then uh, audit as well. Are the three popular uh, plugins requests that we get from customers? Mm -hmm. So, so you, um, I was going to ask you, what would you like MariaDB to do? But you already sort of answered that when I asked for what feedback you have from your users. So I won't ask that specific question, but instead going back to an earlier MariaDB server manifest, we got actually from uh, Microsoft uh, and others the feedback. Uh, when we, we asked the question, is it more important to uh, for us to put effort on fixing bugs or on adding new features? The, the, the answer we got was, that's sort of the wrong question. It's not the only two possibilities. It's very much also uh, about two other things, which are sort of neither bug fixes nor new functionality. And one of them is performance, putting more effort into performance. And the other one is ease of use. So do you have any answer to the question, how could MariaDB server become easier to use easier uh, for end users or for you to set up. Got it. Um, it's a great question, Kai. Kai. Uh, so you know, you obviously mentioned you know performance. I did point out earlier, like things like you know parallel query plan and stuff like yeah. that. I keep hearing on the simplicity uh, piece, right? You know, we do get all the time, and uh, interestingly, we do get more of that because we are supporting a managed service in Azure for MariaDB as well. A few things that come up in my developer and customer conversations, right? One is around, uh, while uh, it's great that there's a lot of flexibility into for MariaDB in terms of the storage engine, in terms of the plugins, right? Um, you know, it tends to get, for an average developer who maybe is not a you know database um, uh, expert or a, a database enthusiast, right? Uh, you know, one of the common feedback is, hey, can you simplify the choice uh, of the storage engine and the plugins that I should be using, right? And it's an interesting feedback, right? Which is because I love the flexibility, but at the same time, I do get feedback from developers and customers saying that, hey, can you make it simpler? Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing also that I hear is, um, you know, uh, can we make the configurability of MariaDB a little bit more easier for an average developer? Like, for example, one of the common things that I hear from developers is, hey, look, our workloads 
are pretty constant. Like, you know, there's a seasonality to these workloads. Like if I have an application, it can be, you know, uh, read heavy or write heavy or something in between, right? How do you help me uh, better configure the various, you know, configuration parameters for MariaDB to suit my workloads, right? So that's mm -hmm. interestingly, we hear that. And in Azure for our open source service, we have something called Azure Advisors. So one of the things that we are working on and we have some of these where we give recommendations to customers, um, you know, in terms of the configurations that uh, they can take advantage of for MariaDB, right? So essentially to, to summarize, right, customers are asking for more about dynamic and adaptive configuration. Um, and I think, um, you know, we uh, hear that all the time. So to really answer your question, you're, you're right that uh, we do hear that, you know, hey, make it uh, simpler for developers, right? And the flexibility is great, but make us to choose the choices, um, the choices that we make a little bit simpler, right, is what I hear. Good, good. And, and actually, there will be a, a discussion at the panel later on today about something we call, uh, it, it's a bit of a pun, it's InnoDB buffer pool politeness. So the InnoDB buffer pool is, of course, a very, technical concept and politeness is a very non-IT term. And, and, and that one is about, I think, satisfying exactly what you were asking for, making stuff easier to configure so that the, the InnoDB buffer pool, which obviously is, is a part that's hard to configure, uh, that, that it uh, frees up memory if it's not used and, and it, that it behaves properly if there's uh, too little memory. So stay tuned for that one. And Sudhakar, I would very much like to hear your feedback on that debate then later on after we, we've had the panel. Yeah, I'd love to check out that talk for sure. It sounds interesting. Great. So, so now I, I have uh, asked you mostly technical questions and I will ask go uh, for a, a what we could call political question soon. But, but before we leave the domain of, of, of technical questions, what, what have I not asked? Is there anything of a technical nature that you wish to, to add? Yeah, uh, one uh, thing I would love to add, I mean, we talked about a bunch of, uh, you know, technical features. One thing that I did uh, miss out is, um, you know, you asked about, you know, kind of the developers and applications, right? One of the things that we see a uh, really a great trend developing, where increasingly customers are choosing MariaDB as the database of choice when they're migrating from Oracle database. Yes. Uh, that comes increasing. In fact, we have some uh, large customers running mission critical workloads who recently migrated from you know, Oracle to MariaDB. So that's something that's actually, uh, it's, um, of course, it's always been there, but increasingly I'm hearing more and more it come up in customer conversations. So that's something that I'm excited about as well, uh, because of, you know, with, the, with, the, with the flexibility and configurability that MariaDB has, uh, we feel that um, we can uh, meet the needs of um, a, a plethora of you know, different you know, Oracle workloads. Um, on top of MariaDB. And again, there, there are feature parity, you know, challenges and everything. I get all that. Uh, but uh, that seems to be a popular destination of choice for, you know, uh, Oracle migrations. Excellent to know. And, and, and there we might need your help also in getting the word out that there is this Oracle compatibility mode and that you can run PLSQL uh, in, inside MariaDB, which you cannot do in, in uh, obviously, you cannot do it in my MySQL. That wouldn't make any sense. They have Oracle for that, and and I believe there's there's nothing really equivalent to it within uh, at least the Postgres that that's generally available as an open source uh, product. But we do have that, and we have the core parts because we have uh, uh, users who, who have migrated all their like big fintech companies. Our standard example is DBS Bank, and there are videos on that out on the web. Uh, where well, they've done that, and we, we're adding more of that, our Oracle functionality. So, so your help at Microsoft is, is in, uh, very helpful if, if you can get the, the word out. And of course, what's missing, we're keen to, to listen to that. But, but let, let that now conclude the, the technical part, and I'll move to <clears throat> what, what I described as a political question. And that, that's, of course, a bit of a tricky thing. So. Um, and it's also meant for the audience to 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 get some some interesting question interesting insights from you so when it comes to to cloud companies we we and uh, cloud providers we have a, a feeling a sentiment uh, inside uh, maria b foundation that the cloud providers are of course uh, good members of the maria db 
ecosystem that, that, that increase the, the adoption, which is what we're about, but that the, um, or and that the uh, cloud providers uh, extract considerable commercial value out of the MariaDB server software development. And, and uh, the conclusion from our standpoint is that that should mean that their contribution back to the ecosystem should, should reflect that. So, so do you concur with, with that thinking or what's your fee overall feeling on this? Uh, I, um, yeah, absolutely. I do concur with your, um, you know, with your statement, um, Kai. You know, I, I, in Microsoft, we firmly believe that we want to, uh, you know, further our Microsoft's contribution to open source in general. Like, you know, for example, Microsoft has the most number of, you know, contributions in GitHub to open source uh, than any other company company in the world, right? And um, that's true with, you know, whether it's Linux, Kubernetes, or some of the open source data services as well, right? So. Yeah, absolutely, we do. In fact, in my team, we have a few committers for you know other open source databases as well, and uh, we're helping influence and help you know the community, uh, open source community for all open source uh, databases. Um, so yeah, absolutely, I agree. I think that's a fundamental principle on how we operate as well. Um, um, and I know, I mean, you know, I'm very happy to work with uh, your help and the foundation's help uh, to do the you know little bit of help that we can do to help the MariaDB community. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully we'll discuss more about that as well. Sudhakar, that sounds great. So, and just to un underline that, that the, the type of uh, help that, that we direct a channel in the, the foundation is, is of two kinds. One, of course, your contributions to the openness of MariaDB server, meaning your, uh, the, the type of pull request that we get uh, and uh, which get added to the functionality of the server and then of course uh, your uh, financial financial contribution as, as a sponsor to the the foundation so those would be the, the type of types of, of support that that I think come very naturally uh, for for cloud providers and I suppose you 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 would concur to doctor on that one as well yeah absolutely and I think Kai, as you know in addition to the you know the 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 uh, you know being part of the board, and you know, perhaps sponsoring some of the MariaDB conference events, right? One of the things that we spoke about is, you know, we have a um, couple of engineers on the team helping with, you know, Windows, you know, build machines, and also we're starting to work with the community in some patches, especially around, you know, uh, proxy protocol and stuff like that. So expect to see more of that to come from Microsoft, um, you know, in in the future. Excellent, Sudhakar. That's music to my ears. So. Uh, very happy with your contribution also now for the MariaDB Server Cloud Minifest. Any, any concluding words from your side, Sudhakar? Um, firstly, I really appreciate the partnership, Kai, with the, with the MariaDB Foundation. I'm very happy. My, my staff is very happy to be part of that. And, um, of course, we've been working on some, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, things like, you know, obviously, you know, the, the getting the word out. But one of the things I would love to do is, you know, share real customer stories with the community as well. Because as I mentioned, we've um, we've have some really large, you know, uh, customers, well-known, you know, brand names that are betting on MariaDB and running large, large mission critical workloads. I'd love to share, you know, I uh, want to partner with the foundation and share more of, um, you know, how they're implementing their applications on MariaDB, including reference architectures and stuff like that. So I'm very excited about the partnership and looking forward for more. Well, Sudhakar, thank you. So am I. I'm very much looking forward to, to, to more of that as well. It's great to work with you. And thank you for being here at the MariaDB Server Cloud Minifest. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the Minifest. Um, uh, and thank you. Thanks.